If you're in your first microeconomics class, I know that deadweight loss can get super confusing. This is what you actually need to know about it to keep up in class. And real quick, before we get started here, if you're kind of screwed for this semester and need someone to help you through this class, I've basically packed all the concepts and practice problems that I'd walk through with you if I were your tutor. These are all in my microeconomics cram kit on my website. All right, the first step to understanding deadweight loss is to understand the total surplus that's occurring in the market before government intervention. So right now in this market, the total surplus is this triangle right here. This represents all the consumer and producer surplus occurring in this market by operating at this equilibrium price right here. But when the government comes in and institutes, say, a tax on the market, it's going to restrict our equilibrium quantity. Before, we were operating at this quantity right here, let's say 50 units. But now with the tax, we're operating at this quantity, let's say 30 units. This right here is a restriction or reduction in market activity as a result of government intervention. The tax is increasing the price from here to here and moving the quantity back from here to here. Now we covered before how the tax revenue would occur in this rectangle. And then the consumer surplus is this new smaller upper triangle and producer surplus is this new smaller lower triangle. This triangle right here is the deadweight loss as a result of this tax because this is essentially lost surplus. It evaporates because of the reduction in equilibrium quantity. We were operating with this entire triangle as total surplus but now we're operating with this trapezoid. And this triangle right here of deadweight loss completely evaporates. If we wanted to put a dollar value on this lost surplus, let's find the area of this triangle. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm just assigning a price of $4 to be the equilibrium price that consumers are paying, and then $2 that producers are receiving back from each unit. The difference here is going towards tax revenue. In other words, a $2 tax on each unit. So with this, we're able to calculate the area of this triangle with the area of the triangle equation. One half times the base of 20 units here times the height of $2. When we solve this out, we get a deadweight loss of $20 in this triangle. In other words, this tax has reduced total surplus in this market by 20 bucks. That $20 goes nowhere, it evaporates, it's deadweight loss. That's what you gotta know about deadweight loss and how to conceptualize it in the context of surplus. If you like the way I explain microeconomics, go check out that microeconomics cram kit. It's seriously like having me as your tutor, just walking you through everything you need to know at your own pace. Each concept takes about a minute for me to explain and then I got practice problems to help support your understanding.